Hello and welcome to Uncommon Games Showcase. In this installment, the game is Quinty for the Famicom. Quinty was released for the NES entitled Mendel Palace. Um, it was released in, in 1989 and developed by Game Freak and developed by Huts or published by Hudson Soft in North America and Namco in Japan. It is in fact Game Freak's first game and Pokemon creator Satoshi Tajari his first game he ever did. So yeah, this is kind of historically important. And it's a fun game to boot. In fact, I even think so highly of it I included it in my Top 100 NES and Famicom Games editorial series that it's on my blog. A link to that is in the video description below if you haven't already read it, so please check it out if you haven't. Alright, so with this said, these games are identical, so I'm going to be playing the Famicom version. Alright, here we go. Here it is, Quinty. I have no idea why it was called Mendel Palace in the U.S. Because, uh, in the Japanese version, you are rescuing the girl named Quinty. And that was the titular character. Alright, so this is, like I said, it's an action puzzle game, so it's a pretty cool game, so here we go. So, like um, Mega Man or um, some other games, you can choose the level that you start at first, so I'm going to choose uh, this one. So the goal here is that you can move around this grid, and you want to basically flip um, the floor panels to knock the enemies into the walls. And you do this, um, and you can walk over um, the panels that will change them into various power-ups, and y you'll see what I mean. Here we go.
hit. Oh dear. Now, Quinty is also a two-player simultaneous game, um, and is a lot of fun with the second player. You know, trying to um, act cooperatively together to uh, solve the puzzles, or just be a jerk and knock the opponents into into uh, knock the knock the enemies into your opponent and uh, stuff like that. not a popular game, but um, very cool nonetheless, and historically important because Game Freak, you know, kind of a big company now. Just as you'd expect, every 100 stars you get an extra life. Oh uh, no, I got hit. for you. Um, really cool game and um, yeah, so you should definitely pick it up because it, it, Mendel Palace does not carry much of a premium. Um, the game can be found for next to nothing and that's really great for unknown um, NES games that you, most of you probably would enjoy but you haven't played before. Um, yeah, it's, it's for both Famicom and NES. Um, it makes a really fun two-player um, co-op experience, or if you like just like action puzzle games, um, like Tetris or Dr. Mario, that kind of thing. Um, it does have that sort of appeal, and um, it's really cute and charming, you know. And if you're a Pokemon fan, it's especially cool because it's uh, it's Game Freak's first game, you know, really put them on the map uh, because Mendel Palace was a success um, both in Japan and abroad. Although much to limited success in abroad than it was in Japan, but to the same po same point is uh, you know this game is really great and you should pick it up. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more videos in this series, um, check the sidebar and check my channel. I'm not going to be putting them in the video description below anymore because there's just too many videos now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.